and we're catching some nice bourbon. It's a nice eater, this one. I think we'll keep that one for the pan. We've often mentioned that burbot are the only species of freshwater cod on the planet. They are awesome on the table, and I'm going to show you how to prepare them right now in the field. The tail is all meat and is very flat uh, vertebrae, all the way up to about two inches from the vent. So you have to start a little ways away because at the vent, the ribs really start to come out around the internal organs and cutting through those rib bones is like cutting through cement so we're going to avoid doing that all right so let's make our first cut i find the vent with my index finger on the other side of the body over here and then come over about two inches and right where the dorsal fin comes out i'm poking through really taking my time to make sure that i'm a on this side of the spine and I go out the other side. Now I'm perfectly on, I'm riding the backbone and I'm taking my time to saw the meat from the backbone without losing any on either side. I'm going a little bit slow so that you can follow what I'm doing and I do, I stop when I um, passed the dorsal and anal fin, I don't cut right through the tail fin. I stop there. That's going to be a handle for me later. Then I move to the anterior head end of that cut that I made and I'm following, again following that dorsal fin. If you're not sure, grab it and pull it out so you can see where your target is to follow and I'm cutting, once I'm, I'm past that dorsal fin, I keep cutting towards the head. I cut all the way up until I hit the back of the skull. And that's where I make my cut so that I can start following it back. I'm on top of the ribs and again take your time there's no rush right here that you want to make sure that you're cutting as close to the ribs and the backbone as you can you will get to a point where you do end up hitting the skin this skin is almost like leather so even though I'm cutting technically cutting towards my fingers on the back side there's no way I'm going to hurt myself. So I don't feel that you have to worry about that either. And then, as I said, once I get to that skin, I can go ahead and cut through that skin. I've got a hold of the tenderloin here. I'm following it all the way back. down to where that cut was on the other side and I have got the complete tail section and the complete tenderloin section and remember I told you not to cut through that skin well this is why so that you've got a handle to cut that skin off of the meat the meat off of the skin And remember to leave an inch of skin so that you can transport your meat. You've got a beautiful fillet, completely boneless, and all the mess is stays with the fish. You do not cut into those uh, ovaries, testes, intestines, gallbladder, nothing. That's nice and clean, and you just complete the same procedure here on the other side. So there you have it, boneless burbot, fresh out of the lake, ready to take home, wash up, and get put on the table. You know, a lot of people ask me, Jeff, how do I prepare burbot for the table? What's your favorite recipe? And actually, traditionally, burbot have been used in restaurants for fish and chips 
in the place of Atlantic cod. A cod is a cod. Uh, however, I actually like using it in a seafood recipe in place of scallops, cutting the tenderloin and tail up into medallions and, you know, sauteing garlic butter and, oh man, I can't wait to do that tonight. So just to wrap up, uh, burbot, like any fish, are nutritious and delicious, and when harvested properly, are a renewable resource. Treat it with respect and enjoy.